This video will serve to orient the new user with the ribbon in AutoCAD. The ribbon organizes tools into logical groupings based on workflow. It also provides a compact palette of all the tools necessary to create or modify your drawing. The ribbon is composed of a series of tabs, such as the Home, Insert, and Annotate tab, which may be selected based on type of work being performed. For example, the Annotation tab may be selected when adding text, dimensions, or tables. Each of the tabs is divided into panels. Each panel has tools organized by workflow. For example, on the Home tab, the Draw panel has all of your draw tools. The Modify panel has all of your modify tools. Some of the panels have a small downward pointing arrow next to the panel name. This is the panel expander icon. This icon will open a slide out or a drawer that has additional tools. Some panels have, an addition, have a diagonally pointing arrow in the corner. This arrow is the dialog box launcher, which is most commonly associated with a style menu. Clicking on this one launches a text style manager where you can manage your text styles. If you hover over a command or tool, a small tooltip will appear giving you some information about the tool. If you linger for more than two seconds, the tooltip will expand to give you additional information about the tool. Some of the tools will have a flyout. A flyout is a small arrow that indicates that there are additional ways to use the tool. For example, a circle may be drawn by picking the center and the radius, or the center and the diameter, or several other ways. Some panels have sub -pan some panels have subpanels where tools are grouped together, also indicated by a small arrow. Tools grouped on subpanels are usually usually related, such as trim and extend, or fillet and chamfer. The ribbon is context sensitive. This means that the ribbon may dynamically change based on the current workflow. One example of this is when the multi-line text editor is used. After you have created a text box, the ribbon changes to give you tools that are appropriate to editing text, such as formatting and justification. On the right side of the ribbon is a set of buttons that will allow you to change the appearance of the ribbon based on personal preference. Clicking on this button will cycle through the different appearances. If you accidentally close the ribbon, you can get it back by typing the word ribbon at the command line. Finally, if you right-click on any tool, you may add it to the Quick Access Toolbar. Any tool added to the Quick Access Toolbar will be accessible even if it is not on the current tab. Notice that it's up here. This concludes the video on the orientation to the ribbon.